What's up, good people? What's up? What's up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I want to give you guys a little bit of background story of how I actually got started into all this, okay? Um, just grab a beer, grab a drink, just sit down for a minute. I'm getting ready for my live stream. And I had a blast from the past, okay? See, um, when my daughter started YouTube, I didn't understand social media at all. And she was like, oh, I got 5,000 friends and stuff, and I got friends in California. And I'm like, California? What the, what the hell are you doing with some people in California across the country? Shoot. You know, I, I didn't know. I never had a MySpace page or anything like that. And stuff. So I, I didn't do social media until I think about maybe 2010. I, I, I got a Facebook page and I didn't, you know, I posted some pictures and stuff. And this woman named Jen had posted on Facebook. She said, I need some more cowboy fans because they're just ganging all up on it. I'm like, well, I'm a big cowboy fan. And so I ended up being in a Facebook group. It was the NFC East trash talking group and not understanding this stuff. You know, I didn't understand trash talking. I'm just a nice guy posting pictures of my family and going to games and stuff like that. And I got in there and there was this girl, Beth, was a new york giant fan and she cussed me out oh my god she called i was like it hurt my feelings it i'm like why is she so mean met beth beth is one of the sweetest people that you ever meet and i'm sure she's having a ball right now because the eagles lost but i got into that group in fact um the reason why joe boo is here today is because my god I, i'm getting forgetful but one of the members was an Eagle fan had said that the Dallas Cowboys this is during the eight and eight years suck so bad that not even Joe boo could help them. And so I made Joe boo as a joke, as a joke. Um, and there's about 120 people in that group. And we actually became really good friends and stuff. And we ended up posting in there, you know, the, the highs and lows of your team in the NFC East and stuff. There was one particular person in there. Like I said, Jen was married to an Eagle fan, Tom Donnelly. And Tom Donnelly was known as a moron. There was a picture of, of a guy holding up a sign, Eagle fan, that was like, you know, I'm a moron. Well, they, they superimposed his face on there. And there's a post in that Facebook group that's got like 11,000 comments on it about how Tom Donnelly is a moron. In fact, I will go back into that group today and do this. Now, I did a video earlier today because I said I'm not going to be hearing from Eagle fans all off season because of the way they had their epic collapse, except for silly Philly 500. You know, he's the real people and all it. And I did it like, and I, and I fake people out. People said I, I deserve an Oscar because of the way I was. They thought literally I lost somebody and, you know, I teared up and I just kind of, I, I just can't take it. And then I bust in and bust out on him. Well, I got a flash from the past. The moron still lives, Tom Donnelly. And I'm going to say, shout out to Tom Donnelly, the moron, because when you reap your team, when you're at your lowest, when you were literally 10 and 1 and end up 11 and 5, dropping from the number one seed where you literally each week look the worst, where you lost to Tyrod Taylor and Danny Cutlets. When you had everything on the line to lose to Kyler Murray and crew and your former offensive coordinator, it's just bad in Philly land. You got Philly 500 literally ready to fire Nick Sirianni at halftime. That's how bad it is. And I get a message on Facebook. I get a message from a big blast from the past. The moron has returned. Oh, hello there, Mark Holmes. It's been a minute, huh? But I've been watching. You know, I've been around watching your videos. Been watching Philly 500 whoop up on you a little bit here and there. And, uh, you know, get some laughs. And I made some comments here and there on some of your videos. But today, well, first let me say, like, 
I saw, saw that, that that bet that Philly 500 with that had with that loser Giants fan with the belt. And he was going to sick him on you like a dog. And that was going to be fun to watch, you know. But then, you know, obviously the Eagles didn't win yesterday, huh? So I saw a video you made today, something about you're so depressed. And uh, I, I'm going to own it, man. You got me for a minute there. I didn't know you could be funny, you know. Usually you usually just sound ridiculous like most cow bitch fans. But it kind of got me thinking, you know, like, why should we let the fun go away of somebody being sick on you and busting your balls and telling you what we all know is inevitable for your team there? They bring you guys up every year and they put you way up there and they fucking take your legs out from under you. And I want to be there to tell you we told you so. So I think I'm going to help out Philly 500 and uh, I'm going to come after you. Because you think you're funny, but you're not. I'm going to show you funny. All right? Because, um, you know, I'm pretty miserable right now being an Eagles fan. Because we got this fucking numb, fucking skull, numb nut head coach who's completely destroyed the offensive identity of our team. But I'm going to leave the X's and O's to, you know, you and Philly 500. I'm going to come in and make some videos like you made today, some funny ones. Okay? Because we're already laughing that we know what's going to happen. You guys aren't winning the Super Bowl this year. You're not even going to make it to the Super Bowl. They're going to fumble like they do every fucking year to you guys. And they'll do every year as long as Jerry Jones is alive. We all know this. I hope he lives to 150. And, um, yeah. So I'll see you soon, okay, buddy? I got something good for you. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mark Holmes. Oh, my God. So that's where... I got my start. That's where I got start. And, and it's all because of guys like James Gear and Beth and Jen and Tom Donnelly and Jermaine Cash and Bob Kelly. Um, there's so many. Um, Mary Beth. I mean, I, 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 this has just brought back so many wonderful memories. And I'm going to have to actually share some of the stuff that used to go on in that group because it was phenomenal. Um, David Lasso, who, you know, and this is what was cool was because typically on Facebook, you don't actually meet people on Facebook, but I met Beth, I met, um, Tom Donnelly and Jen, I ended up, Jermaine Cash has, you know, met him and he actually saved my ass coming back from New Jersey because it was a rainy night and I was just couldn't make it and stop by his house and things. It was, we, we became a family much like, the YouTube channel here has grown and I actually miss trash talking Tom Donnelly and um, some of the things that they used to do, man, you know, uh, it was crazy. Some of the content that we used to get. So I'm looking forward to it, Tom. Challenge is accepted. <laughs> ah, tell Jen I said hello. Hello. 